Hello everyone, I welcome you all back to this lecture series of theory of computation. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the fundamental of automata. So, we have discussed about the description of a finite state automata. So, there are five tuples necessarily we need to define in order to define a finite state automata. These five tuples were the finite set of states in which an automata can be at any point in time. So that is Q. The summation, it is the set of alphabet or you can say set of input symbols. Another is the transition function. This transition function will map your initial state and the input symbol to the new state that we will see in detail so how this transition function can be represented and then initial state every automata must have an initial state and that initial state belongs to the set of state only right and set of final states so every automata must have at least one final state final state can be more than one but if automata is finite and deterministic there has to be only single initial state right so please do remember initial states should be single or must be single you can say and finite final states can be at least one okay it can be more than one right so now let's look at the block diagram of finite state order so in this block diagram uh, you can see that these are two symbols has been represented here so like you can say c or dollar kind of symbol any special symbol you can consider so there are three basic components you can see finite control is there reading head is there and this is one input tape is there so input tape reading head and finite control these three are the basic components of every automata so if you look at the diagram you can see that input tape is divided into multiple blocks or you can say cells okay and each cell can contain one input symbol okay input symbol we have already talked this summation okay so any of the input symbol which is allowed i have already discussed like with the help of uh, the calculator whatever the number of buttons are there they will comprise this to the set of alphabet or possible input symbol right so one cell or one block this is square will contain single input symbol so if an automata want to accept four length string or five length string or two length string there has to be equal number of cells available on the input tape okay these two symbols are defining that this is the left end of the input and this will define the right end of this input okay so any two different symbol can be taken generally we take right end like dollar and left and you can take like c sharp right okay so let's look at all these components one by one the very first component is input tape so the input tape is divided into square or you can say cells each square or cell contains a single symbol from the input alphabet that is summation so it is not l it is you can represent like summation input alphabet okay so from this alphabet one symbol can be stored at each square or cell the end square of the tape are marked with the end mark so end square from both the end like left end and right end so there are possibly any two symbols distinct symbols we can take one will decide the left end and another will be decide the right end. So the absence of the end mark, if there is no end mark on the input tape, that means we consider the input tape is having infinite length. So practically infinite length input tape is not possible because every machine is having some physical challenges. So generally we have these symbols which will confine or define the input length. Okay, input tape we will not consider in fine right the square of symbols 
between the two end marks between these two symbols will define the length of input okay so will comprises and define the input string so whatever the symbols will be maintained within these two symbols that will define the length of input okay so if in between these two there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven kind of cell and let's say the set of alphabet if i consider for this machine let's say if i consider let's say a comma b and if i write any sequence like a a a b a b or anything you can write something like this then this will comprises the input string okay so whatever the length of input we want to give one by one the symbol will be stored on the shell or block on the input table okay now let's look at the next component that is reading head so as the term suggests there is a head which will read the input tape okay the reading head is having only reading capacity capability it cannot write okay so in automata there is a reading head which is not capable to write on the input tape okay in finite state machine right then the head of the automata examines only one square at a time so that means reading head can read at a time only one symbol one square means one cell so you can write this is a input shell available on the input tape square or shell whatever you say so one cell can be read at a time that means one symbol at a time it can read the head can move one square either to left or right so please do remember this reading head can move one square or one cell either in left side or right side but generally when we consider it and when we design an automata we consider the read head is moving only in right direction okay so whatever the problem we will get whether in gate exam or in your university exam we will consider the reading head will move left to right okay in right direction okay the moment of the reading head is restricted to the right side generally so that i have already written right now the third component of automata is finite control so that finite control will decide the moment of the head when the head uh, reading head need to be moved to the next symbol okay so typically the finite control receives two things finite control will receive two things one the symbol under the read head or reading head r head means reading head that is any input symbol let's say you consider a and the current state of the machine or automata that you consider like q okay so once the q the current state and the input will be available this finite control will decide the next state okay so possibly the result can be two in case uh, the q is available and machine is aware about the current state and machine is also able to read the input symbol then there are two situations are possible which those are written like a and b case so in case the read head can move along the tape to the next square or shell but sometimes it can also stay to the same square without moving this kind of move will consider as null move okay so when we read an input if the input is null your reading head will not move to the next so if a reading head is not moving that means it, this is considered as null move null move the finite state machine determines the next state based on the current state q and the symbol a under the consideration so if a machine is having a current state let's say q and an input symbol a and if a finite control let's say a transition function delta is there this delta may generate some q dash new state okay but if on a current state only null this is the symbol representing null few of the books represent this like epsilon few of the books represent with this 
lambda symbol okay few of the books null may represent like this so whatever the book you are following okay so if you are passing null the state will not change it will be on q later on i will elaborate uh, all these things in detail so you please do remember there are three things uh, one is finite control another reading head another is input tape input tape is divided into multiple shells okay and each shell can contain one input symbol okay the head is having only reading capability and it can generally move in right direction left to right okay so please do remember these things then the transition diagram so when a automated transit from one state to another the transition we generally represent with the help of a directed graph okay so an automata requires n number of tuples generally five tuples so the automata if i consider this is an automata i need to define this machine so this machine i need to define like i require q i need set of input symbols i need initial states let's say q0 i need final state and i need a transition function okay so these things i need to define in case i consider this is very first automata the q q is having only one state that is q0 so set of states q will be defined like this okay and because q0 is also initial so this q0 you can consider q0 is given as q0 initial state is this set of final state f there is only one state and that is final so f will be defined like this okay then set of alphabet so let's say set of alphabet there are only two input symbols we are considering a small a and a small b so these four things has been defined now what about this particular delta you can see or transition function or transition function can be represented as a there are two ways to represent it one is directed graph which is represented here or in a tabular manner like this so this diagram or directed graph is representing like this arrow which i am putting here this arrow on whatever the state we put this arrow that will represent the initial state of the auto and if we put any state like double circled it will represent the final state of the automata and this arrow represents like whenever a or b comes on this q0 the new state or next state will be q0 okay so if you want to represent this diagram into tabular form what happens i put this arrow on q0 that means it is an initial and i also put this circle on this q0 that means it is final okay on q0 when a comes it is going to q0 only when b comes it is moving to q0 only so this is the representation of this diagram in the tabular manner now for this diagram number 2 this is automata 2 let's say this is the transition diagram for some automata i'm just taking random example so there are three states q0 is the initial state so i put this arrow to represent this is an initial state q1 is the final one so q1 i have circled q2 neither it is initial nor it is final so neither i am putting arrow nor i am circling it right now let's write it q0 when a comes on q0 it is moving to q1 when a comes it is moving towards q1 when b comes it is going to q2 right on q1 when a comes it is on q1 only when b comes it is on q1 only on q2 when a comes it is on q2 only when b comes it is on q2. so i hope this will help you to understand how we will represent the transition function of an automata so there are five tuples we have already seen one is the set of states another is set of input symbols another is initial state another is set of final states and the fifth tuple of every automata is either we can represent it with the help of a directed graph or 
with the help of a table okay now the transition system uh, transition function or transition system except a string w when we combine n number of or infinite number of input symbols so this this symbol when we write an automata this is represented set of alphabets there are generally two symbols we can put we consider it as cleans closer i will elaborate all these operations in next lecture so when we put this that means input symbols are coming either zero times or n number of times okay so when we represent w means a string and if you are familiar with c programming you understand what is a string sequence of characters so when we put let's say if i write apple a p p l e this is a string a is an alphabet or symbol and then we combine a a a it will become a string right so transition system accepts any string w if there is a condition if there exists a path which originates from some initial state goes along the arrows and terminates at the sum final state so let's say if i consider the previous diagram let's say this diagram if i give you one state uh, one possible string so let's say if i consider a string w okay and w string let's say if i am taking a a a b now if you want to check whether this w can be accepted by this automata or not so what we need to check it once we transit after accepting this particular string whether the resultant state is a final state or not if your machine is on final state then you can say this string is accepted otherwise rejected so let's consider the initial state is q0 on q0 the very first symbol because this thing you put on the input tape right so input tape will consider th this thing and input tape is divided into number of cells so read head will read the very first symbol first so let's say you are putting the very first symbol here so on q0 when a comes the transition function says that you will reach q1 okay now after you read this a you read next a so on q1 when you read a you are at q1 only after you read this a you read next one so on this q1 when you read a you will again reach out q1 and then you will read b so on this q1 when you read b you will on q1 and this is the final state with when we are getting after accepting this string and this is the final state right this is the double circle so that means this string is accepted so you can say this is accepted okay now if we consider another string the string like uh, if i consider w2 there's another string so if i consider w2 like this just a moment so when you consider w2 any any random thing if i start with b a b a let's say now if you try to accept it you again start with q0 so i am starting let's say q0 at q0 initially you will start reading b so read right head reading head will read one symbol at a time so first b will read so it will read b and when b is coming on q0 you are reaching reaching to q2 then a is coming so when a you are reading out q2 you are at q2 then next b is coming as input so b you are reading at q2 you are at q2 and again a is coming here as input so you are again at q2 but q2 is not the final state it is not double circle that means this string is rejected this string this automata will not accept it is rejected okay so how a string can be accepted and rejected i think the idea is clear so how a string can be accepted or rejected i hope you can understand this now what is the transition function properties there are few properties every transition function will satisfy so let's say this delta is representing a transition function and q is the current state of the automata or machine and this is null symbol okay 
So if nothing coming as input, null means nothing, no symbol you are giving as input, your Q state will remain Q only. Without taking any input, the state will not be changed. So this means that the state of the system can be changed only by an input symbol. So if we don't pass any input, the system will remain in this initial or the current state. The next property says that for all string w and input symbols a let's say a is the input symbol and string is w this is the transition function if you are having a current state q and you are passing a w kind of string a is single symbol and w is a string so it may have n length right so if we want to accept it first we need to check step by so let's say i'm writing delta q is my current state i am passing a w so first what i need to do is first i need to check when i from on the current state when i get a which state next state i will get so let's say if i am getting q1 state earlier i was at q then i need to pass this w at q1 so from q1 i start passing this w string I hope you are getting so first i will find out the state which we are getting from current state q when we are getting a as input when w will come we will pass w and character by character input symbol by symbol and we will find out later on the string may be accepted or rejected so it is reflecting like this but if we pass this w a so first we need to accept w so if w is 3 length or 4 length or 1 length accordingly these many arrow or edges we need to traverse and then we will get a state so once you pass or we pass like w here then we will get a state so if i take the previous example let's say if we are passing here a a a b w is a a a b so after a a a b your state will be q1 and if you are passing w a that means a a a b and a you are passing okay so i hope you understand these two properties when null is coming and when something else is coming how the transition function behaves okay so i hope this is sufficient for this uh, session or lecture see you in the next class Thank you everybody for connecting.